Sagittarius, Sagittarius, hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ow, what's up, Saggy baby? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Sagittarian for the month of September 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space of solitude and shedding light on the aspects of your life that needs work? Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell the cards say. But I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you right damn now, feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that shit. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. You know, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But sometimes we cry. Sometimes we, you know, laugh. Sometimes we cuss. We definitely cuss, okay? But, you guys, we share, we love, we evolve. Poppy vibes only, okay? It's a whole vibe over here. We family. Return of subscribers, family. What's popping? Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. And I really appreciate y'all not getting no other people video. I don't, I'm going to be able to say that for some of y'all cross watchers, okay? <clears throat> Not getting on other people's videos. Like, what, Sagittarius? Y'all was patient with me. Thank you, Sagittarius. I truly appreciate it, okay? I got to thank um, Aquarius, too. I already did, Virgo. I got to upload it. But I wasn't uploading nobody till I did them damn Libras, okay? Let that, hmm, ain't going to point no fingers or no elbows, but, <laughs> all right? So, thank you, Sagittarius. You know, because, y'all, this is this shit free. You know, if you, you want to know that bad, pay for reading. Simple pimple, okay? That said, thank you, Sag, because, you know, I, we be here, okay? So this will be for the month of September. Um, You guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. I will be back uh, right after this doing mid-month, so y'all actually may see a whole nother video in the next two, three days. <laughs> yeah, one is for the first half of September. Y'all know Mocha Late. I'm getting ready to go on vacation. So after the 19th, you guys, I go. So if you need a personal reading, go ahead and get them in. Because after the 19th of September, from the 19th to like the 27th or 28th, something like that, I will be in Mexico. So because of that, you guys go ahead and get your readings in. And um, yeah. Let's get it. All right. So, Sagittarius. Let's get it. We're going to start with your intuitive messages first. Okay. What I got for you guys for the month of September, I got trust your gut, unexpected endings, apologies, shifting, astral projection, optimism, past truths, last chance, moving states. Blessings unbeknownst, compromise, cycles complete, fear of commitment, sacral chakra, rewards after, oh, I'm sorry, rewards after movement, past life, sacred love, leap of faith, royal, legacy, resurrection, okay? Sag, let's talk about it. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the Hermit to clarify that. You guys got the Eight of Clubs, okay? So for some of you all, um, light is kind of being shed. Or what light is kind of being shed on the situation. Uh, this could, For some of y'all, this could have to do with work, okay? You actually um, kind of coming into realization that that damn job ain't for you no more. Some of you guys want to work for yourself, okay? For some of you all, this is illuminated truth and trying to work together with another person, okay? After coming out of this space of solitude and being open to duality, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Virgo. Others of you could be dealing with... Uh, Capricorn Taurus is a lot of earthy energy that I feel on this. I also a bit watery energy. So some of you guys could also be connecting with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I do feel that for some of you all, there is some type of illuminated truth that you guys can expect in the month of September. Uh, this can involve a person's feelings. This can involve your likes, your dislikes. For some of you all, this is actually coming to the realization that you've lost passion for something. And actually, I feel like how can I put it? Some of you all put a band-aid. Okay, this could have been eight months, eight years, eight weeks. Some of you guys, or some of y'all's nine. But some of you guys put a band-aid over a cut. And I feel like you kept going. And there is a need for you guys. But that cut, it's like the band-aid keeps coming off. But every time the band-aid comes off, the cut is never healed. 
I feel like some of you guys are actually going to take the time to tend to that wound and actually once and for all heal, okay? So we're going to start off with your angel messages. You guys did pull four signs. We're going to get to those in a second from the Barbieri, uh, which may be of significance for the month of September for you, okay? First message we got was sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies <clears throat> and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings, okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with receptivity, opening up. Some of you all are being divinely guided, okay, to move on a particular situation. I'm feeling the energy of it's safe now. Others of you may find peace as well as some type of harm, uh, harmonious energy outside. Some of you guys are being called outdoors. Others of you are possibly wanting to get in some type of environmentalist work during the month of September. Some of you all, there is a synchronicity around seeing white birds. It has to do with union rebirth partnership for some of you all, okay? Be sensitive. Protect your energy. Um, also, if you feel that something is not right during this time, go with what you feel, baby. Don't second guess yourself or sit there like maybe you tripping. Hell no, you're not tripping. Get up and run like hell, okay? So some, that's for somebody. Next message you guys got was peace. Archangel Chamiel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real, okay? So again, I do feel this sense of letting things go, rebirth, okay? For some of you all, you could be, okay, some of you guys could actually be holding on to the hurt of an ancestor. Some of you guys could have lost a father or a brother, okay? This person could be connecting to you, um, connecting with you in your dream space. Others of you, you're experiencing some type of like, some of you guys are having some type of reconciliation with someone who is on the other side via astral projection so some of you guys could be astral project astral projecting and going to go connect with your loved ones others of you could actually some of y'all could also be releasing addictions during this time whether they're sexual shopping um sometimes people can be addicted to hurt but for some of you all you're letting letting go of the aspect of holding on to things that won't bring you any growth Y'all, this ain't no, no, no little crazy shit. This little lady right here is cleaning the damn windows, okay? And no, the room is not on fire. Mocha got damn incense up in here burning. I see the smoke and I'm like, listen, <laughs> Sandy, don't think I'm going to set my damn shit on fire, all right? And I don't think the little lady was cleaning the window. She really trying to be fucking nosy because they think I'm a witch, y'all, all right? Next message, relationship harmony. Archangel Ragio. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. Okay, so I definitely feel like there's this renewed energy for some coming in. Some of you guys are really needing to speak your truth and take action. This During the month of September, September is going to be all about action. I feel like some of you guys in the month of August have been kind of like laying low in this space of reflection. But this during this time, you're needing to speak up. Because there's some type of renewal that you guys are going to be experiencing in your relationship. For some of you all, I feel as if it's tied to family. Some of you guys could be connecting with the mother figure or um, some type of matriarchal figure during this time to get some type of advice from. But there's a need for you all to trust yourself, trust your feel, and respect your heart space, okay? Some of you guys are making heart overhead decisions in the month of September. So others of you, there's a confirmation of a rainbow. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been asking for to come to fruition or for you to receive clarification on, there's there's this um it's gonna come in the form of a of synchronicities around rainbows or a rainbow. Some of you guys could have recently saw this within the first week of September. Last angel message we got, you guys, is counselor, Archangel Azrael. Yes, it's one of my favorite cards in this day. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Okay, so some of you guys are being pulled to, some of you guys may also be very heavily uh, like learning about ancients. And I, I get this for you guys all the time. Some of you guys could be learning about ancients. I don't know why the hell I just heard Charles Manson, somebody trying to start a damn cult. Okay. Um, somebody's also researching Hitler. Again, somebody start trying to start a damn cult, uh, but Sag, <laughs> you know, y'all Sagittarius, y'all can lead people to the beautiful side of life or the dark side. And the crazy part about it is that they going to follow your ass. 
Like, what do y'all be doing? To people? They will follow your ass anywhere, Sag. How about it? Think about it. Something to laugh at. Okay? <clears throat> but I definitely feel like some of you guys are needing to trust your inner guidance. Because during this time, some of you all are being used as vessels to deliver messages. A lot of you all are philosophers. Some of you all are healers. A lot of you all are spiritual teachers. You're being guided. You're being used as a vessel. Some of you all may also be dreaming <clears throat> dreaming or connecting with ancient, like, sacral, sacral, geom sacral, sacred geometrical, I hate that fucking word, sacred geometrical shapes that could be attached to some form of kinetics. Some of you guys come from a royal bloodline, and others of you may be researching that or comedics or some type of um, alchemic symbols. Some of you all also may be starting a business that may be, some of you guys may be looking at logos or using logos that have alchemic symbols there. Or you're connecting with your, with your ancestral, with your lineage. Are you getting to know your lineage during this time? Again, with this yellow being here, a lot of sacral chakra, a lot of sacral energy. Some of y'all could actually be tra traveling or literally moving, getting ready to take a fast move or and make some type of impulsive move, but it's going to bring you blessings. You're being guided to do so. If you feel to get up and go, Sag, this is a listen. How much more shit do you need illuminated? Bye. Bye, Fifi. Bye, Frank. I got to go. Adios. Okay. With this dark moon back here, y'all see this? This, wow, well, my lighting sucks, but let's see if I can pull it back and you can see it. Okay, I can see it from here. Y'all see this this black moon? I definitely feel like that, that, that moon in Virgo activated something within you all. And some, I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with that full moon that is coming in Pisces. Things are getting ready to be illuminated for you guys. As far as your way forward, your next steps. When it comes to progressing and whatever it is that you're trying to build. For some of you all, you're healers. You want to have your own tarot channels. Some of y'all want to actually start some type of uh, practice with your coach. Some of y'all actually want to sell like crossing or uncrossing spells. Others of you are being divinely guided to speak up in order to break some type of cycle. <clears throat> so your dreams may be very lucid during this time. Some of you all also may be kind of going back and forth between timelines or different realms when it comes to the about timelines. Realms. Some of you all may also be meeting with your uh your your um your spirit guides like in your sleep. Some of you guys, your spirit guides kind of want to get to know you personally. Like you have to give them that permission to act upon your behalf here within the 3D. Some of you all are needing to um, give your spirit guides permission to intervene on your behalf when it comes to um, a particular matter. And I do see you guys actually coming to that knowledge as well as doing so by the end of September. Okay. So the signs that I got for you guys, I got four of them. The first one I got was Aries. Second I got was Taurus. The third one I got was Cancer. The last one I got was Scorpio, okay? So these signs may be actually, um, may have something to do with where you are on your journey right now. They may even come, some of you guys may be releasing these people. They may be coming in to, some of y'all may, I'm hearing reliving lessons, reliving lessons, okay? So if you're dealing with an Aries, some of you guys may be trying to, some of you guys may be dealing with, this may be a new person. For some of you all, this could be some form of renewal, okay? For some of you all, you're needing to release yourself from a situation in order to start new, okay? I definitely feel like, yeah, some of you guys could also want to, yeah, okay. So some of you guys could be making an offer, possibly to an Aries or an Aries to you. I definitely feel like someone that, I feel like if this is a renewal you see this person as being independent. You see this person as being a go-getter. And you think it's sexy, Sag. You feel like you want to make a move on this person or this person you. I definitely feel like there's a there's this level of equal equal give and take trying to happen. Someone's trying to come in and uh, bring balance to a situation if this is a renewal with an Aries. If it's a new Aries, this is a situation that actually looks pretty prosperous. I, my advice would be to move slowly and really get to know this person because I do feel that Either you or this other person could have trust issues that still needs work. 
Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like there's balance trying to happen in this situation with this Taurus. If this Taurus or you want to bring balance to a situation where there is a lot of love there. Okay. I do feel that. Yeah. And it's something that could be very, very stable, Sag. Listen, if you're dealing with this Taurus, man, look, I got to show y'all this shit. This was the Aries, y'all. Got to show y'all. Okay. Since I was going to show you the Taurus. Okay. That's what I got to clarify this Aries. All right. Look at this fucking Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, be open, honest. Somebody's finna, somebody is literally finna have some type of word vomit type energy coming forth. Somebody wants to, they miss they Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you miss your Taurus. Y'all get off this, you or this Taurus. If it's the Taurus, tell them get off this bullshit and come on, gallop their ass on in and, and, and lock horns with you, baby. You ain't got no horns. But just don't stab their ass with your weapon, Sag. Y'all, y'all need to talk about it. It's a lot of love. And a very healthy foundation that can be built here. But someone's very fucking stubborn. And somebody possibly have an issue with telling the damn truth or being honorable. You know what I feel here? I feel pride. You can't buy shit with it. Fix it, okay? Listen here. I better stop. I was going to make a joke. Sagittarius will find it funny. But you know, <laughs> I'm starting to grow. <laughs> Listen here. Somebody over here being stubborn and talking to white Jesus about their problem. Y'all need to fix it, okay? Now, we're going to keep it moving. Yes, I said that shit. I said it because we're moving in different times, damn it. I can't be a spiritual teacher without the truth. The fuck? Now, go back and rewind what I said. <laughs> You're dealing with a counselor. I feel like there is stability with this person on a financial front. I just feel like the issue with this person is the fact that somebody is bored and continuously put the other one in third-party energy. Somebody else here doesn't have self-worth. And I feel like some of you guys are, yeah, some of y'all could be walking away from a situation with a counselor. I feel as if you or this person wants to move forward. Somebody's having a hard time with expressing themselves. They want to move forward because they got a new love off of Sag, either you or this other person. And I feel like both of you guys are resisting letting this connection go. One of y'all is because of a petty tie. The other one, like, if I ain't going to be happy, motherfucker, you ain't going to be happy either. So fuck you. No, I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to hold on to you forever. Someone is not happy. But they hold on out of this space of comfort or out of the fear of them not being able to come back to this situation if what it is that they're moving on or you does not work. Okay. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, y'all, first and foremost, this is a divine connection. I do feel like this person, you or the other person could have some addiction issues. Somebody drink too damn much. Somebody got, somebody's extremely jealous, but they jealous from this space of love. They love the fuck out of you, Sag. You are that person, okay? I do feel that you could have moved away from this person or this person could have moved away from you. You guys could be talking about separating because, because somebody really, hey, you and this scorpion, somebody here really likes motherfucking cake. They, I mean, I hate, you know what? I'm not going to say that. Somebody thinks the grass is greener on the other side. But really on the cool, they're going to get over there to find out that somebody didn't even get their grass from Lowe's. They got it from like this little side-ass motherfucking list on, on the side of the road or some shit because the grass was fake as fuck. It was all dried out, desert-like and shit. They don't even water it. Motherfuckers just lay. Listen, some of you all are missing your Scorpio and your Scorpio is missing you back. Fulfillment here is is the is the goal. But I feel like there's a fight or flight type of damn situation happening, even though you or this other person is wanting to renew this situation. Somebody wants something. They want that old thing back. They want new, new. It's funny because on this Scorpio, I got I got one damn sword that, I mean one sword, one card that actually um, spoke about movement, someone moving away or someone moving, okay? You and this person could even be talking about moving in with one another if Somebody didn't have their shit together with being apart. You know, somebody feel like they got to watch the other person. There needs to be some type of healthy boundaries and compromises set up in here instead of pride. Because it's not getting y'all no damn well. But I do feel a restart, renewal, okay? I just feel like right now, overall energy said, you guys are in this space of, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Okay? And that's okay. That's what the hermit is here for. You're waiting for light to be shed on situations so that you can really weigh, they, weigh them up. As either assets or liabilities or just completely be willing to wash your hands with shit and just call it as a loss. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get it. What's going on with my saggy babies? In love. Y'all know I like digging in y'all love life. Y'all cards be interesting. I'll be like, Sagittarius, who is you fucking with? Where did you meet these people at? Sag, y'all 
could find some of the most interesting people. I can tell you that. Yeah, some of you guys may also, some of you guys may be expressing love or finding out that you're having a baby with a Pisces during this time. Others of you, I keep hearing renewal of families, renewal of families. So some of you guys could be trying to renew a family cycle or a situation that involves family. Others of you, <clears throat> some of y'all could actually be dealing with a situation or, yeah, some of y'all could be finally expressing your feelings to a motherfucker. Listen, motherfucker, I'm ready to go for another person to you. Could involve a Scorpio. Some of y'all could actually be moving in and moving away from a damn Scorpio. See the little, little thing right there? Usually would say cancer, but no, I thought that was more indicative of Scorpio. For others of you, this could actually have to do with the Pisces. Some of you guys could be wanting to travel towards the Pisces. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all are getting something off your chest and releasing a Capricorn due to the codependency issues. Yeah, you're moving away from toxic energy. You're moving away from toxic people, places, things. Anything that don't serve your life for the best, that you like, fuck with you, I got to go. And so, Steve, what messages do you have for my summer rather than cross watches for Sagittarius? Yeah. Some of you guys could be um, charging in or have another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, coming in to charge in to speak with you. Um, <clears throat> others of you. Someone could finally be expressing and opening up to heal the situation, okay? Uh, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of you all, some of y'all could be setting boundaries with this person or giving some type of clarity to a situation in order to release it, okay? So for some of you all, and some of y'all have a sexual connection with a damn uh, air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius that's getting ready to come to an end because this person wants real love or you, Sag. And I feel like you don't like their ass when y'all get up from doing your thing or vice versa. You feel somebody feels as if somebody is childish, okay? Some of you guys are going to be hearing from or reaching out to a person who you haven't heard from in quite some time. This person could be an Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, or um, a Libra. I do feel that you could have children with this person. For some of you all, there could have been some type of, yeah, some of you guys, you could be traveling to speak to someone or someone's coming to travel to speak to you. Some of you guys could actually be having a conversation with someone while traveling, which may lead up to some spicy shit. Yeah, some of you guys are wanting to move towards fixing a family situation, possibly with a cancer. The issue is you want to compromise and this person wants to hold on to your love. Someone has moved on from a situation, but the other person has not mentally moved on from what it is that they expected from a situation. So I feel like they want to make an offer of keeping you in there, you know, keeping you in there like swimwear of trying to build off of a sexual relationship. But sad you like, no, I don't want that shit. I'm going into a whole new cycle of my life and I'm cutting shit and I ain't got time for it. OK, some of you all could actually be watching another person or another person is watching you. Out of fear of being resisted or rejected before a move is made, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, every little Sagittarius. I feel like you want to work something out with this person. This person wants to work something out with you. But there needs to be clear communication because I feel like you could have cut this person off. Or the person could have cut you off in the past. Some of you all could also have issues with your damn boss during this time. And it's because spirit is trying to push you up out this motherfucking job and really bring blessing and bless you. They're trying to push your ass up out this motherfucker so they can bless you. But for some of you all, you want to hold on to things. You have an issue with letting things go. Okay. For some of you all, um, some of y'all you want to, some of y'all finna start something new or, or renew a cycle with the score, with the, either a Leo or a Scorpio who you have children with. For others of you, this could be a situation, for, um, a situation that was cut off long time ago. Someone wants to resurrect. I feel like both parties are willing to put in the work, but someone has this fear of commitment or this fear of being turned down. So that has prevented them from actually making a move. For others of you, some of y'all are moving away from a damn Virgo because you feel like this person drank too damn much. You could have children with this person, but I feel like there's constant arguments about money. I feel like there's constant arguments about responsibilities, someone actually standing up and doing right for the children. I feel like somebody could even be arguing about where the hell their child support money going or them not having enough 
even though this other person doing what the fuck they want to do, you going on big vacations and your kids ain't got no school clothes. Oh yeah, I see that. I'm, I'm going there, y'all. Know we we family. <laughs> some of you all, some of you all are in. Uh, uh, <laughs> some of you all could have cut off a Taurus, or a Taurus could have cut you off, but you kind of you're indecisive on if you sh if you should move toward this person because. You don't want to, get, or this could be the other person said, y'all take it how it goes. They don't want, somebody don't want to be stabbed. Somebody don't want to be burnt up by that fire, okay? Some of you guys could also be, I feel like there's a lot of fear of the unknown here in this reading. If you're dealing with a fire sign, every little Sagittarius, I feel like there's a lot of passion in this situation. You may have not heard from this person in quite some time, but I do feel like when someone reaches out, things are going to progress and move quickly. I do feel that the element of surprise, like someone is trying to surprise another person, but intuitively the other person could possibly know what that. It's like some of y'all got a telepathic connection with somebody who you haven't been talking to. But even though you're far away from this person, this person literally feels your every move. And likewise, some of y'all are Pisces. Some of you guys is definitely a Taurus. Where someone was indecisive about a union, they had a negative ask or a negative perception around commitment. Now this person is wanting to commit to you. I do feel for some of y'all it's a Capricorn. This person got right after that after that ass got left. Sad so said, listen, we've been doing this shit for a while. Where is this going? Oh, nowhere. Well, let me tell you where you're going. The fuck out of here. Okay. Some of you guys. Could be resurrecting a situation with someone who you have children with. And I do feel it's going to, with, I feel like because the negative energy or the negative, I feel like two people have, two people have now grown. But they're, one person is unsure of how the other one is going to see them or how they feel. I feel like on the, like in, in, in the, like in the 5D, this situation could already be aligned, but here in the 3D, Someone is nervous about trying to move forward in alignment. Some of you guys could have walked away from somebody and then be finding out, could have recently walked away from somebody at the beginning of September or end of August just to find out that you have children by this person. But this person is pregnant. Congratulations, my beloved kids. Some of you all, be careful with going to connect with somebody on a vacation or going on a vacation. If you're not trying to have babies and somebody then invited you on a damn vacation, you better be careful because I see some of y'all come back with a little extra after this vacation, okay? For some of you all, you do, yeah, some of y'all got new love for somebody who you work with. I feel like you're having a hard time making a decision about taking this offer because you don't want to shit where you lay. So it's like, I don't want to mix business with pleasure. Last time I did that. I had to had a motherfucker trying to bust my windows and pop my tires and shit. Yeah, that was for somebody. It was. I, that we still tapped in, baby. I'm sorry, I was sitting on my feet, y'all. Got a little heavy. My anklets and stuff got the kitchen in the seat. Some of you all, some of you all have something. Some of you guys are missing your empress. Or your empress misses you. Some of you all are expanding. Some of y'all could actually be finding out that you're having a baby with a Pisces, Libra, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. And there's a need for someone to compromise and be willing to share the responsibility. This is, yeah, some of y'all, you're dealing with somebody who needs to grow up, which is why you're choosing to release the situation or you chose to release it in the past, okay? Some of you all could also be mending issues with your mother or a mother figure. Some of you all could have released someone. You could be watching this person, this person watching you. Some of you guys want to work out on renew. There's this energy of let me show you, let me show you, okay? I do feel someone wants to show another person that they're willing to put in the work to have this commitment, to have this. You know, I do feel that there's a trust issue that will be going, that will be working through or being worked through um, toward the end of September. And for some of you guys, it's going to continue into Libra season in October. Some of you guys are definitely uh, reconnecting with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. But some of y'all just could have to do, yeah, some of y'all is past life. Others of you with your damn twin flame. But there's a need for someone to release. This could be you with this king of wands here. I got the king and queen of wands on the board. This could be you needing to release 
this old energy for another person. There's a need. There's old energy, residual energy trying to be released for new energy to come in and things to move forward. For things to move forward to a solid place, okay? So some of you guys could be having an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Coming in to travel. Some of you guys are traveling to go offer someone something solid. And I do look, it looks to be very victorious, okay? Yes, come on. For some of y'all could be um, a Libra. Others of you could be an Aries person, Taurus. I got the Empress and the Emperor on the board. I told y'all, for some of y'all, it's a twin flame. The divine is covering this union, baby. For some of you all, in leaving a job, or if you were, for those of you who was waiting on any type of finances from the legal system, some of you guys could also be dealing with child support issues or receiving some type of child support payments during this time. I feel like it was you needing to release from the aspect of trying to control it or show another motherfucker what you mean. Because you definitely, whatever you did or said, Sag, you got your point across. In the month of September, some of you guys are choosing to... Some of you guys feel as if you had to, like, you have to release a situation. I, I keep hearing Brian McKnight's, um, one last cry, one last cry, before I leave it all behind, I gotta get you out of my mind. Mm, I know the words. Stop living like I guess I'm, yes. So, I definitely feel like someone... Someone is willing to take one last, I, I heard, that song is called One Last Cry. I don't know if he says one last try. Because I do feel the energy of one last try before I completely leave it behind. And I feel like 30 times the charm, Sash, because I definitely feel that things are going to look very beautiful for you. Okay? For some of you all, this could be someone who you have children with. And if you meeting this person, running back into this person, while on some type of vacation, or you meeting this person, running back into this person on some type of trip, or you inviting this person somewhere, because for some of y'all, this person could be inviting you somewhere out of town, over waters. Likewise, either you're giving somebody a gift, or someone's going to give someone a gift. I feel like it's a gift of renewal. Some of you are also going to find out that you um, are attached to someone. Or were attached to someone who could have had a child outside the relationship. Somebody's child support papers is going to come to somebody's house. After they didn't put their ass out of there already. But it, I feel like it was destined for you to see this. Because whoever you're connecting with or who you were connecting with, they lied to you about it. But some of y'all was a Libra or a Gemini. Some of y'all was a damn Scorpio. Other than you was a Leo. And some of y'all, this was a damn Aries did this. Some of y'all was a Taurus. Others of you, you were in a third party situation where you really love someone, but someone couldn't make a decision to leave another person due to the fact that there was finances connected or someone didn't feel financially abundant. Some of y'all going to be hearing that someone did move away from someone. And I feel like for some of y'all, this person is coming in and they're and they, and they going to need your help, Sag. Because they're going to come in like, I did this for you. And they ain't taking no for a damn answer. Okay, whoever this person is. The earth sign. Could be another fire sign. Every little sag. Some of you guys have a water sign that's new in your life. I feel like you could have known this person. This person could have went from friend to lover, but I feel like there is victory with this person, but this person is kind of putting you in this sad space because you know that you they're gonna force you to leave. Committing to this union is gonna force someone to leave another union behind. And this could be something that you wanted to release for quite some time, but the universe heard you. When you praying, you got to be careful what the hell you praying for because we don't get to control how it comes in. For some of you all, you're becoming your own damn boss. I do feel, for some of y'all, for those of you who was waiting on some type of paperwork to be finalized, some of you guys could be receiving something in the mail regarding some type of investment. But those of you who were worried about late registration and you not being able to get in, positive news here, baby. Some of y'all going to be starting school in the fall, but I feel like, hmm. Somebody thought that they wasn't going to get some type of grant or receive some type of loan money. But I do see it here working out in your favor. Some of you all are wanting to leave a situation behind, but you don't know how you're going to fend for yourself or stand on your own. Spirit is saying that's not your part. Your part is just to do as you're directed and just go. Because you're going to walk right into the coin, right into newness. 
right into love, right into prosperity, right into, for some of y'all, <laughs> your empress or your emperor, your divine counterpart. Some of you all are being guided to go somewhere. And it's meant for you to be here because some of y'all have to connect with this past life person. Some of y'all, this is a person from your damn past. Who you could have known since childhood. I do feel like some of you guys got an air sign. Indecisive on how you coming, what you coming with, vice versa, you with the other person. Somebody's waiting to reconcile with somebody just to cut their ass off so they can go be happy with their life. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra, Gemini. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who don't want to cut you out because they don't want you to be happy. This whoever this person is, they they don't like the fact that you took a stand for yourself and decided to say fuck you since you can't control me no more fucking more. Since I believe you can't control me no more, I snatched my damn power and took it back, and you over there looking how you look. It's karma season for some motherfucker here. But yeah, I do see you guys making a judgment coming out of this indecisive energy. Some of y'all dealing with an indecisive ass air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all say indecisive ass earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I don't know what the hell they want to do with themselves. Some of y'all are leaving a person, are leaving some type of third party connection with somebody, so y'all is gonna leave somebody. And they didn't. And you got an opportunity of new love. And now this person wants to say every damn thing in the books to keep you there. But you like, motherfucker, some, some of y'all, this person has six years, three years, two years. Motherfucker, what have you been doing with your time? Besides wasting minds and getting real comfortable in doing so. Nah, baby. So what's your best advice for Sag? The month of September. Ending. Damn, you see this shit flying out? Ending these damn cycles. Ending, ending cycles where motherfuckers feel as if they got all of these damn options and there can't be no damn abundance built on it. Ending cycles that, well, shit, trusting people when they showed you who the fuck they are. Hmm. I love it when that shit happens. Trusting people when they showed you who the fuck they are. Moving away from motherfuckers who feel as if they got to move left because they ain't got it in them to move right. Leaving magicians behind. Motherfuckers trying to use magic and shit to keep you. Hmm. Understanding that you're going to get your wish when you release yourself and not, and not worry about no damn money because you're going to be just fine. You can't lose when you're listening to yourself. It's when you start listening to other people that shit goes left. Okay? For some of you all, you're freeing yourself from a damn earth sign. Some of y'all, you're freeing yourself from a financial time which you've invested in for quite some time. To go be happy. And things move fast and transform for you very quickly. Equal give and takes around this bitch. Soulmate relationships around this bitch. Someone having a healthy co-parenting relationship. And still able to give to another relationship where they want to be. That resonates with them on a soulmate level. And their growth. And moving away from tricky, finessing motherfuckers. Going to go travel to transform situations. Good shit, Sag. I like it. But just end them fucking cycles so you can go into new beautiful. You wondering why things not moving? Because everybody ain't supposed to go. Okay? Or to get. Or to get. I love you all. You guys let me know how this resonates, and I will see you back here mid-month. Bye, babies.